friends, it's Tracy. Today I am sharing some sunflower and denim crafts with you. I'm so glad that you're here. Let's go ahead and get started. Here is a quick overview of how I did the sunflower and denim gnome that I was inspired by. I saw one on Pinterest and I was inspired by there by by that on Pinterest. And so this video is actually a uh, Facebook live replay that I have sped up uh, for this video purpose. Just kind of give you an overview of my sunflower and denim uh, gnome. Now, if you want to see the end in real time, uh, slow, you know, uh, discussion tutorial, I will leave a link in the description box below so that it's like I said, it's talking exactly through how I did this. But for this video, I'm just going to give you just a quick overview so that you get an idea of what I did. All right, for the landscape timber, it is a seven inch landscape timber that my husband cut down for me. And so for the jeans, I'm just using some old jeans from my youngest son, probably when he was in grade school, like elementary school. And I kept them because, you know, they were really good, but then they were like beyond repair. But I wanted to keep these after him and make something special. And so what I did is I cut off part of that pant leg and at the bottom there were his uh, like when he walked with his shoes you know they're kind of worn like they do what you know kids do also had holes in the knees so what I did to cover that hole up is I just used a piece of leopard print fabric and then from that bottom part that is going to be her hat and so I love the way that this turned out so I just cut off the pant leg and glued it uh, in the back the way that you know that it would be secure and so this top part is going to be like her hat for the nose I just use a wooden split ball and just uh, painted that with some flesh colored paint and then I distress the uh, edges of it just to give it a distressed look so I had already had all of that glued down but then I remembered that I needed to put her hair in so for her hair I'm just using rope from the Dollar Tree and I just cut uh, pieces of that rope and untwisted it where it was already curly like wavy and so then I'm going to be using some yellow and white gingham fabric I just ripped off pieces of that and then I just tied uh, uh, bows at the end of that rope and then I just put several of those together I'm using some rubber bands to kind of help myself and then I just push it up underneath the hat and then later on in the uh, end video I showed that I added some small sunflowers to those bows because it just turned out so so cute and so um, I was inspired by uh, something that I saw on Pinterest it was a denim and sunflower gnome I was just really inspired and I wanted to make one I think that that one that I saw on Pinterest she made out of a cone a uh, styrofoam cone but that is a, definitely an option but for me I wanted to make something out of this um, landscape timber that I had on hand. So I just actually tear a piece of uh, fabric, cut that down, and then I'm going to make a patch at the top of her hat, just hot gluing that on there and just making sure that everything looks so cute. Now for the top of the hat, I just took a rubber band and just, um, gathered it together so that everything would stay nice. I used some stuffing uh, to add to the hat just to, you know, give it a little bit of body. I'm also using a little bit of that yellow and white gingham fabric to add another patch and just continue to make this little gnome just look so cute. I'll just continue to play around with the top of the hat just by adding some leopard fabric as well as a small sunflower. Now where that hole is uh, in the gnome, you know where that little leopard print is, I think that looks like an, a mouth and it just turned out so cute. So I also added some sunflowers to the pigtails as well as some excelsior uh, to the patches at the top as well as a small brown button and then a I just cut out a heart 
for the bottom of the gnome. All right, for this project, I'm using, still using those, uh, my son's jeans. And so uh, these right here, these are very sentimental because this is when he was in elementary school. So I'm just cutting out the pocket just with my scissors. And then I cut out that patch uh, that was from his jeans because that is going to, I'm going to be using that as well. So I uh, have some of these sunflowers. All of these sunflowers came from Hobby Lobby as well as that fine excelsior and uh, that this excelsior right here that came from Joanne's fabric I just prefer the fine excelsior so what I did is I just stuck some of that excelsior in the pocket and then I have some jute rope now this is a four ply jute rope I got from Hobby Lobby I just made a, a knot at the end of the rope and then uh, as well as on the other side. And then I just glued those at the top of those uh, of the pocket so that I could make a hanger. And so then I'm just cutting off some sunflowers just to, you know, put them in the pocket to the fullness that I want it. All right, for that small patch, what I did is I just put a small hole with my crocodile in the uh, corner of the patch, and then I'm just gonna tie that onto the pocket right there, and then I have a sentimental gift from my son when he was young. I also added in a few pit berries that I like to pick up from Hobby Lobby. This project is a perfect little shelf sitter or tear tray decor or something like that. All right, so for the wood house, I picked that up at the Dollar Tree. And for the scrapbook paper that also, or that came from Hobby Lobby, the paint color that I painted around the edges of the house is denim blue. And uh, to attach the scrapbook paper, I just used my Mod Podge just to attach it to the wood. I just used my fingernail file just to go around just to give it a little bit of distress. For the white picket fence, I picked this one up at Hobby Lobby. You can get those in the unfinished wood section or I have found them in the fairy garden section. And so there's a little options. So I'm using some fine excelsior just to add just some, you know, like looking grass or hay or whatever like that. So I attach my wooden fence to the block. Then for the sunflowers I'm just using uh, these that I picked up from the Dollar Tree I think you can find these maybe more in the fall season if they still have them and so I just attach a couple of those to the fence then for uh, just some extra I just wrapped a couple of strands or several strands of jute at the top of the house just to give it you know a little bit of so that it wouldn't be so plain at the top then uh, for a small sign I just hand lettered summertime uh, out of just some ivory color paper cardstock I just uh, tore the edges to give it a tattered look I used a little bit of distress ink and then I attached it to the top of my sign and it's perfect as I said for a little shelf sitter or a tear tray or a perfect little gift for someone that you just want to give something to and make them feel special and I also added some uh, fine excelsior as well as a small rag bow and button to the top. This sunflower mason jar fence project turned out so cute. Now the wooden fence is something that I had on hand. Um, I got those many years ago, but you could totally make them out of craft sticks. The mason jar is from Dollar General. And uh, what I did is I traced out the yellow and white gingham or checkered paper. It's uh, just scrapbook paper. And what I did is I just used the heat, uh, the Mod Podge heat transfer method to attach my paper to the mason jar. And I, my little iron is my Cricut mini press. That's what I usually use. All right. So, um, for the fence, uh, it does have a little raised area, 
but what I'm going to do is put some flowers on the back of this mason jar. So I need it to stand up a little bit more. And uh, this is the bouquet of flowers that I just kind of pulled out and put together. They have just beautiful sunflowers. Uh, those blue uh, Billy Button Pick, I think that's what they're called. Those are from Walmart. And then I just have some pit berries as well as some white flowers and different greenery from Hobby Lobby. And so uh, what I do is just kind of gather them together, just attach them all with a rubber band. Then I'm going to use a zip tie to really get a good hold on them. And then what I do is I just uh, glue them, attach them to the back of the mason jar. Uh, what I like to do is uh, add a little bit of distressing to my mason jar just with my favorite distressing ink, which is vintage photo that is my favorite distressing ink and so then to attach the flowers to the back of my jar I'm just hot gluing that as well as add just a little bit of burlap just to cover up those stems Actually, I'm using muslin fabric instead of burlap on this one, uh, but this uh, stem or broke bouquet was just a little thick. So what I did is I took some of my uh, painter's tape and just glued that down and then I just covered it up with some more of the muslin fabric so that it all holds it and so you know it's just really how you cover your mistakes and so then uh like I mentioned earlier I needed that mason jar just to uh, pop off a little bit on that fence. So I'm just using that with using some tumbling tower blocks from the Dollar Tree. All right. So for a small bow, I'm just ripping some fabrics. Uh, I have a tag that I have already hand lettered sunflowers. And so for the small bow kind of rag bow, I just ripped pieces of uh, uh, yellow and white fabric and some muslin fabric then I'm just going to make a small bow to put there and then also attach the tag to the mason jar and then as I mentioned to have it give a little height to the mason jar to come off of the fence I just added some of the tumbling tower blocks to the bottom just to give it some dimension. I also tied in some sisal twine that I get from Hobby Lobby as well as this uh, blue denim uh, ribbon that also came from Hobby Lobby. I made a bow out of that and everything looks really nice. And then I attached that all together as well as uh, put my tag on there. All right, for this next project, I am making a little floral arrangement in a jar. This is a pickle jar. And so uh, I had taken a piece of muslin fabric and hand lettered sweet summer and uh, I'm going to attach that to the front all right for the denim part I am using some of that same scrapbook paper I rolled it up so that it would just kind of you know unravel on itself uh, as when I put it in the jar now for to uh, put my little floral arrangement I added some glass beads that I get from the Dollar Tree those re are really good just to kind of add as a filler and so then what I do is I add some of that fine excelsior now for the flowers I have more of those same like flowers like sunflowers I have you know some uh, white sunflowers as as well as just different greenery and uh, just some of those Billy button picks that I get from a Walmart. I have some pit berries and then I just glued the tag on the front of the jar. I wrapped a piece of that yellow and white uh, uh, checkered fabric on there. I made a uh, jute or a sisal, actually a sisal twine bow and included that in the yellow and white fabric bow and all of this just looks really good uh, now if you want a slower um, you know more in real time version of this video or any of the videos I will have those links to those individual videos listed in the description box I know I'm going a little bit fast but I had quite a few projects that I wanted to include in this uh, collection video this next one is using the other pocket from my son's jeans. I'm also using one of these USA uh, pennant flag looking tags from the Dollar Tree. Now I cut that uh, pocket off of those jeans and I'm not going to do anything to it except glue it to the bottom of that 
USA tag. And then I had made, uh, I just pulled out some Rick Rack. I love Rick Rack and just attach it a little bit there to the top of the uh, pocket. Now uh, to prevent fraying, that's what I'm doing. I am just, you know, singeing the edges so that my Rick Rack doesn't fray because the Rick Rack, this ribbon is made out of grow grain and grow grain does have a tendency to fray. So I singe the edges. All right. I had already put these uh, florals together because I wanted to uh, make sure that everything you know was in there that I wanted I just have some sunflowers some red and blue flowers from the Dollar Tree I have some pit berries as well as some white flowers from Hobby Lobby uh, for a filler I'm just using some Excelsior and that Excelsior came from Hobby Lobby and so this is just a really quick um uh, you know, project. If you have some of these tags, hopefully Dollar Tree will have them again this year or for future years. And so it's really, really quick. This is a great way to uh, use up some of those denim pockets that you may have. And so there on the side, what I did is I just attached a small sisal twine bow and that looks really pretty. I just love the way all of these crafts turned out. Now, again, I will have the uh, links to the uh, original videos if you would like to see in real time how I create any of these. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I appreciate your continued support. God bless you, and we will see you in the next video. Have a great day.